Not both Thursday today, and Simon the man is right here. He's going to talk to us about his cool book called Play the Brazilian Way, right here on Nickelodeon. See you then. It's going to be fantastic. Hey, welcome back to the show. Me, Lisa B. Can't see Kim Carl, but check it out. This is the man that wrote this book. It's Simon Clifford. Play the Brazilian way. That is the book. Now, you have met some famous footballers in your research for this book. Which ones were they? Well, I started off with Janinho. Him and I became friends when he played at Middlesbrough. And I went out to Brazil and linked up with uh, Zico, Danielson, Rivellino oh. and, uh, and the great Pele. Brilliant. But I look for this book. I don't see Ian Wright or Michael Owen. Why is that? The book's looking at the best players in the world, who I think are Brazilians, and we need to learn from them. Uh, OK, but I still think they're very good footballers. We've got callers on the line. First up, we've got Matthew from West Midlands. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Lisa. Hello. What's your question for Simon? Um, how many hours a day do footballers train? Well, the kids in Brazil, they're playing maybe 20 hours a week at 12, 13, four or five hours a day. But if, if you want to improve, I'd say you, you work about an hour a day with the ball and you'll really come on quickly. There you go, Matthew, to keep working on it. See you later. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye. We've got Jasmine online from London. Hello, Jasmine. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Simon. Hi, Hi I like this question. Give it to us, Jasmine. What do you think about girls playing football? I think girls playing football is fantastic. In, in Brazil, the football, the salon, the style of football they play, it's the most popular sport for girls, and we're finding in Leeds that the girls love playing it as well. And the type of football we use, the football, the salon, which is a little bit heavier, it helps the girls because it's not bouncing all over the place. It's easy to control, so they we get confidence. We don't need much help, do we, Jasmine? No. No. Thanks very much for calling. Moving on, we've got David from Manchester. Hello, David. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Simon. Hello. Hi. What's your question for Simon? Why does a smaller football make a difference? That's true. Well, in Brazil, all of the children play with this type of ball. It's a size 2, smaller mm -hmm. than the size 5 we'd use here. And the bladder of the ball is filled with foam as well as air. So when you bounce the ball... Oh, he's going to bounce it. It just sticks it to the floor. It doesn't bounce. It doesn't really bounce. And when you play with this ball, games with your friends, it's all about passing, skill, dribbling. And all of the Brazilian players say this is the main reason why they do so well. And they're the skills with this ball I look at in my book. OK, cool. So thanks very much, Simon, for coming in. Cool book. Thanks, callers, for calling. That's Football Thursday. We love it here on Nickelodeon. Cool ball.